else worth that word? You're distracted again, Edward. Is it because Henry's over there? Oh, no, it's just... I think Henry has finally started warming up to pulling freight trains again. Again? You mean he was a good engine before? Oh, yes. He used to enjoy it. Until... Until what? <sighs> Do you remember when I told you about number four? Well, yeah, but what did that have to do with Henry? Well, what I said was that Henry and I had to get the express to the next station because Alfred had burst his safety valve. Yeah, who's this Alfred fella? If he doesn't work here, then he must have been a real snob. Well, he was more awkward than a snob. He had brake issues which ruffled the coaches about, and was a stickler for the timetables. He ran the express trains for a while, doing the old goods train every now and then. So, what happened to him then? Has your driver ever told you about the story Wilbert wrote called The Flying Kipper? Yes, and the artwork was quite stunning, I must say. Well, the time placement of it is wrong. In fact, all of the events around that book are mostly wrong. Really? I thought Wilbert was a Soto historian! Well, that's what everyone says. But the only ones who do know his true side are, well, myself, Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle. I can tell you what happened if you like. Love to, but we've got work to get to. Oh, nonsense. I've got plenty of time before my next train. Alright, I guess it wouldn't hurt to hear. Alright, here goes. given you Welsh coal. But, sir, it did help. I... It's become too expensive for me to keep sending over, Henry. If we keep forking money to help you, we'll go bankrupt. We might have to end up scrapping you. No! You can't do that! Why don't we have him on slow goods? Because he'll just stop at all the stations and won't be able to start for another 20 minutes. And he knows that. What? Olive, I understand your feelings for Henry, but if we can't get him better soon, then I'll have to scrap them. What about a night job, sir? Ah, uh, beg your pardon? What if you put me on as a night shift engine? That way, when I do my jobs, you won't have to worry about the railway's public image. Henry, are you sure this will work? That's not really something that will affect your health. It's the only thing I could think of that doesn't involve passengers or serious delays. Alright, after having a think about it, and overhearing you two, I think that putting you on night shift will work. I'll try you tonight. Oh, thank you, sir. Don't get too excited, Henry. If this doesn't work, then I'm putting you out of service, understand? Of course, sir. What types of trains will he be pulling, though, sir? Only one later in the night. I had Alfred on it, but he's been tired every time he gets to the express later on. So I'll put you on trial for tonight. What's it called, sir? It's called the Flying Kipper. It's a fish train that starts at the harbour and gets picked up by another engine at the other end of the line. There's no stopping stations, so it should hopefully be smooth sailing. <laughs>
I still find it hard to believe that Henry will be able to manage something like this. At this point, I'm starting to agree with you, Thomas. Although, it is a job off of my buffers, so I'm not really complaining. Who's that? I've no clue. Um... Hi, is, um... Is a Topham Hat here by any chance? No, sorry, he left hours ago. Oh, god damn it, I'm late again! Who even are you? Uh, I'm Thoris. I'm the new goods engine. Uh, well, I, I think he specifically meant the day shift goods engine. Uh, yeah, I, I don't... Yeah, I think that's what he meant. Uh, uh, sorry, um, can... Can one of you show me to the sheds, then, considering I missed my chance? I will. Good luck with the run tonight. I fear tonight might be a little troublesome. Oh, please. It's been and gone for a few weeks now. He'll be fine. Even so, stay safe. I will. was that? Your replacement. What? But why? I'm only starting tonight. Why has Sir Topham already got a replacement for me? Cause you need more exercise, Fatso. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. Don't listen to him. He's just being annoying as usual. I know, but- But nothing. Yes, that engine we saw may be here to replace you, but if you work hard on the kipper tonight, Perhaps that engine won't have to stay long. Oh, you're right. I should stay strong. Thanks, Peter. Anytime, Henry. Now let's get this train sorted. You're the one that needs a replacement, Fatso!
I wish Henry could hurry up. The Capullus do. Who cares, Morris? This is good cocoa. I told you, my wife is one of the best cooks around. Is that more, Rich? Hold right, Leroy. That's the last one. But we're gonna take it with us. The Kipper should be here soon. tell. I'm doing better than whoever the engine in front was. Oh, uh, well, I couldn't tell what the shape was. All that was left were six big wheels behind four leading wheels. Alfred? That, unfortunately, seems to be the case. As for you, Henry, how in the blazes were you switched onto the sidings? I don't know, sir. The signal was down, so I kept going. The ground felt slippery as well, almost like I was slipping on ice. You're clearly delusional, then. It's July. And I suppose you're here to replace the delusional night shift, then? What? N no! I was bought to do the goods during the day. What the hell are you on about? But... Thomas said... Thomas has been playing tricks for the past few weeks, Henry. How have you not caught on? Never mind about Thomas. What about Henry? What's going to happen to him? I'm going to the scrapyard, aren't I? Actually, no. What, what sir? I've been looking across the country for any works that had any spare parts, and as it turns out, crew had exactly the parts needed to repair you to full capacity. A larger firebox, fresh tubes, new connecting rods, a lot. But how did you afford that kind of money? I didn't. They just owe me a few favours. This is one of them. So Thoris here will take you to the final station, where Robin will take you on to crew. Uh, yes sir. Oh, and Olive, I've been meaning to ask you something. What is it, sir? Considering Thomas is, uh, indisposable right now. Out of all the anxious time, call me fat. At least I'm not built like a big green whale. I need someone on the mail runs. I was going to trial you with Thomas as a guard, but considering his position, I want to see if you can handle it on your own. You want me to start pulling trains, sir? Yes, but just the mail trains for now. I understand working as a shunter for so long is starting to get boring. So would you like to do that? I'll... I'll give it a try, sir. That's a good engine. Now, you've got some trucks and scrap to move, so I suggest you start with that. Yes. Seems nice. Is that so? Um, uh, 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 how long were you standing there? <laughs> long enough. Your train's ready to go to Wellsworth. Uh, can, can you keep this between us, please? Not a word said. Uh, thank you. And uh, I, um, 
I do find girls attractive as well, for the record. So, you like me, eh? Uh, no, you, you know my type. Dang it! Come on, Rosie. We've got a train to take to Crovens Gate. It's for the two new narrow gauge engines that have just arrived. Peter Samus the Handles, I believe their names are. <sighs> All right, let's go. Oh, hello there. Is that train meant for here? Uh, yeah, uh, is this Wellsworth? Yeah, it's Wellsworth. Okay, um, oh, uh, sorry, I'm... I'm Thwaris. I'm Edward. Uh, just... just leave that train in that siding there. I'll... I'll sort it out later. Uh, alright. Was it? Uh, I, I was wondering, what's up with that Henry fellow? Why does he look weird compared to other Pacifics? Well, for one, he's not a Pacific. And for another, he's had problems since he was built. Uh, what does that even mean? Built by who? Uh, we don't know. But neither Henry nor Sir Tottenham talks about his past. Well, What's he even meant to be, anyway? Again, no one except Henry and Sir Topham knows what he is. Well, uh, what do you think he is? Well, I think that Henry is a dedicated engine. Problematic in terms of his design, yes. But he's never backed down from a job. How? <laughs> Thank you.
How are you, Henry? I feel spectacular, sir. You look even more dashing than before. You're telling me I've never felt so alive. Well, that's good to hear. Are you ready to go back to goods, Henry? Uh, no thank you, sir. Uh, keep me away from goods trains. Permanently. Really? That's a turn of events. Are you sure? Positive. I think I need to stick to coaches. Maybe even the Express. That's... Going to be an interesting case, then. Why do you say that? Because we already have an express engine. Who? Me, of course. Who else? And you are... This here is Rebecca. She's our second engine built at the Corvance Gate Workshop. I guess that's why I'm number 22, then. (laughs) Second? But who was the first? Wow. I never realized how big of an impact that crash had on Sodor's history. Have you ever heard of events fixed in time? Well, this was more events fixed in space. So, Henry did have that crash in Kildane. That's scary. You still never explained how Henry was diverted onto that siding in the first place. Uh, to this day, lady, that mystery is still unsolved. And Rebecca, you said she was the second to be built at Croven's Gate. Who was the first? Oh, that. Oh, that's a story for another time. Well, thank you for sharing that story, Edward. But what about you? How did you come to be on the island? The simple way. My line was closed down and I was sold off. I was child and put on express duties. Then Alfred and he arrived, and so I was sent to work on the Brendan branch line. Do you think it was him that switched the points? Oh no, I very much doubt it. It was way past his death date, and the police chalked it up to faulty wiring. Well, we're going to be considered faulty if we don't get moving. Oh, blimey, sorry, Miles. Uh, sorry, lady. Got a dash. Just go. I'll see you some other time. All right. I'll see you later. (laughs) 